Hi, my name's Dan, and this video is uh, uh, one in which I'm going to explore the idea of classes and uh, instances as it relates to uh, blueprint classes in Unreal. And it's, uh, I think, probably going to be the culmination of this short series of videos uh, that are talking basically an introduction to blueprints in Unreal without digging into the scripting system, which is going to be the next series that I do. Um, and I have talked about uh, classes and instances before in this series, but I want to go back over it and I want to explore it in a bit more detail. Um, so um, the idea is that I've got a blueprint, which is uh, my pipe. Oh, yeah, I'll just talk about the setup. I've got a third person uh, template map in which I've created uh, a couple of blueprints uh, that I've been using through this series of videos. Uh, and I've got this thing that's called my pipe. It's actually not got a pipe anymore involved because I've been changing things. Um, and if we uh, quickly open it up, it's got three things in it. It's got a cube, uh, it's got a cylinder, and I've just put a light back in. Uh, we're exploring using the light in the last video that I was doing. Um, and so we've got two instances of this, uh, this blueprint. So what do I mean by an instance? Well, a blueprint is a description of an object or of a, a programming entity uh, that can be used inside Unreal. Uh, in this case, they are physical objects that can be put in the world because they're what's called actors, and they have static meshes involved, which is basically 3D models. Um, and uh, when I drag from, uh, from the blueprint here, so the blueprint class, it creates an instance of that class in the world. So I can have several instances in the world. And uh, this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lift it up a bit and uh, rotate it around a bit. So you can see the positioning is different for each one of them. But when we run, we'll, uh, we can see that uh, they've all got this rotating behavior and they're all rotating um, according to that behavior. They've all got the same uh, physical components in that, uh, the box and the, the light and the uh, cylinder. Um, so that is basically the the blueprint class itself is like a recipe for a cake and these are like the actual cakes that have been made from the recipe and that's one of my favorite explanations of the idea of classes and uh, instances is the cake and the recipe um, we can actually make changes to uh, to an individual instance from a class so if I'm gonna uh, uh, highlight this instance here uh, as you can see, we can actually position them in different places, which is very useful. You don't want them all in the same place. But um, uh, you can see over here in the details uh, for this object that um, there's a whole lot of stuff actually we can get into. So we've got the, uh, uh, the material, which is bricks for the cylinder, and I can change that. So I can change that, and I'm going to make it what I'm going to make it. Let's, uh, let's make it rusty metal. There we go. It's going to take a little bit. So we've changed that instance, uh, the material that's being used. Uh, we can change the material that's on this cube, actually. So I haven't... The reason why I've been able to do that one directly is because that cylinder is the root object of the uh, of the blueprint. We can get to the, the lower object. So I can get to the cube here. Um, and that's got a basic shape material on it so I'm going to change that material to be oh skybox how scary would that be it's going to come out like it's not done very well that wasn't a good idea um oh and it's got the, the light stage there right let's uh change that to something a bit more sensible let's have a gold metal appearance there we go um and, you know, we can press play and, and that'll run and uh, move stuff around. We can even change the uh, the location. Here we go. And the light goes with it because the light is uh, childed to this box. So I've made a slight change to the shape there. Um, so we can make all sorts of uh, changes to uh, the instances of uh, a blueprint. Um, and that's one of the powers of... Uh, using blueprints and having instances is that there, there are exposed aspects of it. You can make changes to the individual instances. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to uh, show you is uh, inheritance. So I have talked about this in the other 
videos every blueprint you create has to inherit from something most of the ones that you create that are physical things in the world will inherit from a thing called actor this is inherited from a thing called static mesh actor which is why static mesh is the root element of this uh, of this particular blueprint um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new blueprint um, and I'm going to make it inherit from this blueprint, which is the my pipe, which is the one that I've created myself. So I'm going to go into blueprint class and go down here into all classes. I'm going to type in my pipe and this allows me to create a, a new blueprint. And I'm going to call it my uh, new pipe it's still not a pipe anymore um and if i edit this so i click into the editor i see the uh, the same things that we've had because we've basically we're building on this uh, basic building blocks and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another object uh, component into here um so let's do add and i'm going to do a uh, another static mesh i'm going to make it come up and sit here now at the moment there's no actual 3d model no actual static mesh in this static mesh slot so i'm just going to go and pick one and i'm going to pick a pillar oh that's quite tall uh, so i'm going to shrink that down there we go um and so that's now become part of this new blueprint class. So if I go back into my world, um, and uh, here we are, and we, uh, so the original, the instances of the original uh, my pipe blueprint haven't been changed. But if I then pull in from the my new pipe, I've got all the elements of the old pipe, and but. Um, the the new element which is this column and it should be rotating like the old ones are as i run and i haven't uh, tested this i'm gonna uh, hopefully this is gonna do something interesting if i make changes to the base class of so the class that i have inherited from so the parent class if you like let's um uh, uh, let's move that light so it's above that uh, column there. That's just a simple change. Uh, and we go back into the third person map. You'll see that that has changed in the derived class, so in the child class as well. So changes to a parent class come down the hierarchy and become changes in any ch child classes that you make. So I have shown, hopefully, uh, two aspects of uh, blueprint classes in Unreal, uh, and in fact, these are general concepts for object-oriented programming, as it's called, uh, which is the idea of classes and instances, and the idea of uh, inheritance and um, having parent and child classes uh, that you can then create instances for as well. These are not necessarily easy concepts to get your head around. So I've been teaching programming uh, to students for, um, oh my goodness, oh, nearly 25 years now. And uh, these concepts are ones that uh, students often struggle with. So if you're finding it difficult to get your head around this, first of all, um, you're not alone. Um, and But they are important concepts. So um, uh, if you need to re-watch this video or look at some other resources to try and understand this, um, it will really help you to understand what's going on with blueprints if you understand these fundamental concepts. That's it from me for now.